greeting and general things. Greeting, basic. There are many ways to greet someone. We'll learn about the most common way to greet someone in this lesson. I'll give a variety of example sentences. Greeting someone you never met. Hi, my name is Steve. It's nice to meet you. You could respond to this by saying, It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Jack. Another common question to ask is, What do you do for a living? You can respond to this by saying, I work at a restaurant. I work at a bank. I work in a software company. I'm a dentist. Usually, you will not need to ask for a name. It is implied that each person should say their name. But in case they don't, you can ask, What is your name? Many times, I don't hear the name. If you would like for them to repeat their name, you can say, What was that again? Excuse me? Pardon me? Greeting someone you know. Hey, John. How have you been? Hi, Bob. How are you? Hi, Nancy. What have you been up to? Andy, it's been a long time. How are you, man? If you meet someone unexpectedly, you can say, Hey, Jack. It's good to see you. What are you doing here? Or, What a surprise. I haven't seen you in a long time. How have you been? If you see the person at a restaurant, you can say, Do you come to this restaurant often? Or at the movie theater, What movie did you come to see? Appropriate responses. Hi, Steve. My name is Mike. It's nice to meet you as well. I heard a lot about you from John. He had a lot of good things to say. Wow, how long has it been? It seems like more than a year. I'm doing pretty well. How about you? A typical response to this type of greeting is simple. Not too bad. If asked what you have been up to, you can respond with, Same old, same old. Or, the same as usual. Here's some other example responses. I'm pretty busy at work these days, but otherwise, everything is great. I'm doing very well. I finally have some free time. I just finished taking a big examination, and I'm so relieved that I'm done with it. Restaurant responses. I've been here a couple of times, but I don't come on a regular basis. I come pretty often. This is my favorite restaurant. I can't believe we haven't seen each other before. I come here at least twice a week. Movie response. I came here to see Matrix Revolution. How about you? Greeting. Example conversations. Let's look at several example conversations. Then we can move on to the practice section. Hi, my name is Steve. It's nice to meet you. I'm Jack. It's a pleasure to meet you, Steve. What do you do for a living, Jack? I work at the bank. What is your name? Jackson. What was that again? Hey, John. How have you been? What a surprise. I haven't seen you in a long time. How have you been? I'm doing very well. How about you? I finally have some free time. I just finished taking a big examination, and I'm so relieved that I'm done with it. Hi, Nancy. What have you been up to? The same old, same old. Or, the same as usual. How about you? I'm pretty busy at work these days, but otherwise, everything is great. Andy, it's been a long time. How are you, man? What a surprise. I haven't seen you in a long time. How have you been? 
Do you come to this restaurant often? I've been here a couple of times, but I don't come on a regular basis. The next lesson is the interactive practice section. If you would like to repeat this lesson or previous lessons, feel free to go back and study as many times as you need. When you are ready, go to the practice section. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing great. How about you? Not too bad. Do you come to this restaurant often? I've been here a couple times, but I don't come on a regular basis. What have you been up to? I'm pretty busy at work these days, but otherwise, everything is great. Well, have a good evening. You too. It's nice to meet you. My name is Jack. I'm Steve. It's a pleasure to meet you. What was your name again? Steve. So, Steve, what do you do for a living? I work at a public library. How about you? I'm a university student. That's great. It was nice meeting you. Yeah, it was a pleasure meeting you. Hey Jack, it's good to see you. Wow, how long has it been? It seems like more than a year. I'm doing pretty well. How about you? Not too bad. What movie did you come to see? I came here to see Matrix Revolution. How about you? I'm going to watch Finding Nemo. Bored. General phrases. Being bored means having nothing to do. When someone is bored, they often call people and try to entertain themselves or try to find something to do with a friend. So being bored is a good starting point for conversational English. There are a couple of situations you can express to someone that you are bored. Most commonly, you will call a friend and tell them that you are bored or ask them to do something together. The other time is when someone asks you how you are doing. We will cover both situations in this session. General phrases. I'm dying from boredom. I hate being bored. I don't have anything to do. My life is so boring. Life is so boring. I'm just watching TV until I find something to do. I was bored all weekend. I am so bored today. I get bored very easily. I get bored all the time. A common place to get bored is when you have to visit family members. It's always boring whenever we go to our relatives. It's nice to visit my grandmother, but it gets boring after a couple of hours. My cousins are so boring. All they do is watch TV. There's nothing to do in the countryside. I'm always bored there. If you think you are a boring person, here's a way to say that you are boring. I think I'm a little boring. I'm a boring person. Boring can be used to describe someone. He is a boring person. His personality is very boring. It's boring whenever she's around. Using bored to answer a question is very common. Here are some general questions that someone might ask. How was your trip? How was your vacation? How was your weekend? How was the lecture? How was the class? How was the game? Any of these types of questions can be answered with a simple answer. It was pretty boring. It was boring. I didn't do much. It wasn't as fun as I thought. It was a little boring. I was bored most of the time. Because it was disorganized, we had too much extra time. I was bored during our free time. Bored calling someone. The conversation when you call someone might sound something like this. Hello? Hi Jane, this is Jill. Do you have time to talk? Hi Jill. Sure. I was just watching TV. What are you watching? I was just watching a rerun of Friends. How about you? What are you doing? Nothing much. I really wanted to start studying for the psychology test coming up, but I can't seem to motivate myself. 
As you can see, even though Jill is very bored, she didn't say that she was bored. To sensitive people, they can misinterpret the situation. If I am bored and I call you, then that could mean that I am only calling you because I have nothing better to do. So if you are not very close friends, it is better to say something like, nothing much, instead of, I am bored. If you are very close friends with someone, then the conversation can be more direct and honest. What are you doing? I'm doing the laundry. I'm so bored, I have nothing to do. Why don't you come over and help me with the laundry? I'd rather do my own house chores. Hey, you want to take a break from your housework and have coffee at Starbucks with me? Sure, that sounds great. I'll meet you there in 30 minutes. Bored. Boring work. A different situation you can tell someone you are bored is when you are simply talking with a friend concerning a part of your life that is boring. For example, if you have a boring job, you can explain to your friend how boring it is. How is your work these days? Work is so boring that I'm going crazy. I ran out of things to do and management is too busy to give me more work. I tried to find things to do with no luck. I'm basically sitting in my chair pretending to work. That sounds so boring. Tell me about it. Time goes so slow when you're bored. I'd rather be busy than at least the day would go by faster. Similar type of boring work is when doing something that is routine. Some sentences expressing boring work are I'm doing the same thing over and over again. My work is so repetitious that I am getting bored of it. My work does not interest me. I am only working to pay the bills. I wish I had your job. Because some people are so busy, they envy people who have nothing to do at work. I'm so bored. I have nothing to do at work. I just surf the internet all day long. Dang, I'm so busy at work. It's driving me crazy. I really wish I had your job. Hey there, what have you been up to? Nothing really. How about your work? It's so boring there. I really wish I had a different job. Is it really that bad? Yeah, most of the time I have nothing to do. But whenever I have something to do, it's boring work because it's the same old thing. Why don't you find a different job then? Maybe I should. Hi Steve, what's your plan for tonight? I don't have any plans. Are you doing anything special? Well, if you're bored, let's plan on meeting up tonight. That sounds like a good idea. Should we invite Bob? He's a little boring. What do you mean? Well, he doesn't drink, play video games, pool, or really anything. The only thing he talks about is history. You do have a point. We'll leave him out tonight. Alright. Let's meet at 8.30 in front of the university bookstore. Perfect. I'll see you later tonight. Hi, Jane. Oh, hi, Jill. What are you doing? I'm doing the laundry. I'm so bored. I have nothing to do. Why don't you come over and help me with the laundry? I'd rather do my own house chores. Hey, you want to take a break from your housework and have coffee at Starbucks with me? Sure. That sounds great. I'll meet you there in 30 minutes. How was your day? General Statements In this lesson, we are going to learn how to communicate to someone using the present tense. However, because this isn't a site teaching grammar, I do not want to spend too much time on details. I wanted to include this section primarily to show many different sentences using present tense and to have a dedicated practice section with only present tense sentences. This lesson is a little shorter than others because speaking in the present tense is not as common as speaking in the future or past tense. Although speaking in the future tense or the past tense is more common, it is still important to know how to communicate in the present tense. Here are some example sentences. I see Bob over there by the newspaper stand. I'm going to the library. 
I'm on my way home. I'm going to the bus stop. Jack is going to the store. Jill is stopping by now. The meeting is starting now. The manager is waiting for you in her office. Tell the receptionist that you are here to see Mr. Huang. Questions A very common question you will run into is, How are you doing? How is your day going? What are you doing now? To answer these types of questions, you must remember that you are talking about what is currently going on now, so you must use the present tense. Here are some ways to answer the above questions. I'm enjoying the beautiful weather without any worries in the world. I'm playing a video game on my computer because I have nothing to do. I'm at the grocery store buying ingredients for tonight's dinner. I'm at the gym working out. As you can see, each sentence is starting with I am instead of I will be or I was. We will discuss past tense and future tense in the next sessions. More descriptive answers you can give are the following. I'm pretty busy right now. I'm doing my homework because I have an exam tomorrow. My project deadline is coming up, so I'm currently in the process of finishing my tasks. I'm taking the day off from work today because I have so many errands. I'm going to the post office to send some packages to my friends. I'm looking for a job. The job market does not look that great, but I can't give up. I'm applying for a job at a consulting firm in Taiwan. I'm listening to music while thinking about my situation. How is your day? Example conversation. The present tense is more common in writing. As you can see by all the explanations I am giving, they are all written in the present tense. That is because it is instructional. Instructional writing is more commonly written in present tense. However, stories and novels are written in past tense. The reason past and future tense is used more frequently than present tense when speaking is because usually you are telling someone what you have done or what you plan on doing. Speaking in the present tense is used primarily to tell someone what you are currently doing. As in previous lessons in board and greeting, it is very common to have a conversation using the present tense when you run into somebody or when you make or receive a phone call. Let's use this time to incorporate what we have learned so far. Hi Jack, what are you doing? Hi Mary, I'm filling out a job application. Are you finished with school already? No, I have one more semester but it would be great to have a job lined up. How is your day going? Quite busy. I'm preparing my presentation tomorrow on our marketing strategy. I'm not even half done yet. You must feel stressed out now. That's an understatement. What are you doing now? I'm playing pool with my friends at a pool hall. I didn't know you play pool. Are you having fun? I'm having a great time. How about you? What are you doing? I'm taking a break from my homework. There seems to be no end to the amount of work I have to do. I'm glad I'm not in your shoes. What are you doing now? I'm watching TV. What are you watching? I'm watching Friends. What are you doing? I'm doing my homework, but I really need to take a break. You want to do something? Yes, but I shouldn't. I gotta finish my assignment now. All right. Call me later then. Okay. Bye. Where are you going now? I'm going to the bank. Aren't you supposed to be at work? I'm working now. I'm making a deposit for our company. Where do you work? I work for a restaurant as a controller. Wow, that's great. Great seeing you. I have to go now. I'll talk to you later. Hi Steve, what are you doing here? I'm meeting a friend here for dinner, how about you? 
I'm on my way home, but I need to stop by the bookstore to buy a textbook. Didn't you finish school yet? I have one more year, then I'm done. What are you majoring in? Uh, majoring in sociology. How do you like your major? I really find this subject very interesting. I'm enjoying all my classes. That's great. I better go now. I don't want to miss the bus. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Okay, see you later.